Hello everybody! Today's video is my 33 week pregnancy update for you guys. Uh, we'll talk about the baby and how I'm doing and cravings and what the doctor said because I had my 33 week checkup and yeah we'll get right into it. So let's talk about the baby first. The baby is doing excellent. She's moving out of shaking, kicking me all over the place. My app says she's about four and a half pounds. She's about between 17 to 19 inches long. Um, and she's just growing good and she's getting ready for her big debut. But yeah, so the baby's doing really, really good. Her heart rate was in the 130s when I went to the doctors. She's doing really good. <laughs> so let's talk about me, my doctor's appointment and how that went down. So I had my 33 week checkup, which was amazing. Um, she checked on the baby's heart rate, which was good. She checked on my, I had my blood work done for my glucose, you know, my sugars or whatever a few weeks ago, which I passed. Awesome. Uh, but she did want to talk about um, my platelet count, which was low. Um, it was in like 133. It was, I think, I think, I'm, don't quote me. I think the average is like 160 or whatever, like most people, but I was in the 130s. She said that it's low, but it's not so low where they're going to be like really worried, really worried. She said any under 100 is where they start really getting like freaked out. Um, and we looked at my past records. This is normal for right this time of pregnancy, which I think this happened with every other one. But if you guys don't know what play the counts, it just means that I have a hot problem clotting, you know, and I could hemorrhage, which with y'all been following my story, I hemorrhaged with the twins and I almost died and it was, I had preeclampsia and it was a whole whoop to do and um, it was really horrible. This is always something that makes me nervous because I don't want to hemorrhage again. I mean, I lost half my blood supply with the twins and I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> um, there's really nothing I can do. I'm just gonna, you know, pray <laughs> and hope this doesn't happen. Cause I know Posey, I had low platelet counts. Um, I almost hemorrhaged, but they gave me pill, these like, things and it wasn't bad, but I don't know, you know. Uh, this is why I don't, this is why people ask me all the time, like, why aren't you doing a home birth? Why aren't you, you know, having a midwife? Why, you know, it's because of this main reason because I hemorrhaged with the twins and I almost died and I can't risk not having the hospital be there and all the medical equipment being there just in case I I hemorrhage again because I I, I know I did a birth store with the twins which I'll link down below um, I just can't tell you like I really almost died and it was really horrible and I just don't ever I don't ever want to be at home and having that happen because I don't think I'd make it. So that is why I don't do a home birth. <laughs> the doctor is not too concerned. We're just gonna keep, she's gonna keep her eye on it. Maybe probably recheck my blood in a few weeks um, and just see how it goes. The doctor talked about my weight and everything and she does doing good. Um, I've roughly gained about 25 pounds now and I know I'll, I'll gain between another five to 10 plus pounds between now and birth which is totally no normal for me. Actually, it's a little less than Posey. Posey, I was at 40 pounds. Yeah, I loved eating. Uh, and I wasn't really taking care of myself with her. This one, I've been really trying to be careful and not to splurge too much. <laughs> but, uh, cause I just don't want it to be so hard to get off like last time. Um, cause I still wasn't at my goal weight uh, when I got pregnant with this baby. So I know that I still have a little ways to go after I have her. So the doctor appointment went really well. I had a great time. I love going to doctor appointments. I love seeing all the nurses. I mean, they're like family now. I, they've been, I've been doing this for years now. So I know everybody. So that was, it's always great. This week, how have I been doing? I've been doing pretty good. I am exhausted. I feel really tired. Um, it's just been, just, I don't know. It's pregnancy. I'm exhausted. It's normal. I'm really out of breath. If you all can tell, I'm just like, like I can't catch my breath. Um, it's just, it's part of pregnancy and it's beautiful. Um, I feel really tight. I feel like the baby has totally dropped. I mean, my mom's commented, people have commented, and it's like, it feels like it's too soon. Like, way too soon. <laughs> what is going on? I can't, coughing and sneezing. Ah! So it feels like it's way too soon um, that she's dropped, but I know that my skin and my belly muscles are just weak and <laughs> it's probably just because of that and all sorts of other things. It doesn't mean I'm going into labor anytime soon, but um, it just is making it more real. Like I kind of get like, 
I told myself after Wynn's birthday, her birthday's in a few days, I'll really start focusing on preparing for this baby. And I get nervous <laughs> because it's just, it's another baby. Um, birth is always awesome. Uh, you know, all the fear and the emotions that go along with it. And I'm trying, you know, I'm doing hypnobirthing stuff at night, trying to like listening to the book on tape. And I just, I don't know if I'm gonna really be able to cut out the complete fear because of the past labors and because of the hemorrhaging and um, just all the other stuff. And but I'm really trying to maybe have calm with this labor. But again, I have no guarantees. I could just lose my mind and scream the whole way through it, but whatever, I'll be fine, I'm fine. Right. Um, but it just is making it really real. It makes me excited, but I am very super nervous too. Uh, it's, I can't believe it's happening again. It's, it's a really, it's a world when I really remember when I got pregnant and it felt like, I felt like February was a forever away. Like it would never get here. And it's like a blink away and it's gonna be here and it's gonna be gone and I'm gonna have another baby. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I just can't believe it. I just, I literally cannot believe it. And I'm, I'm excited and scared, but yeah. So enough of that. So I'm really feeling, feeling low. I'm feeling stretched. Um, my hunger this week has quite, cut in half when I think it's really weird like usually I'm like starving this week I have not felt that like I need to eat everything in front of me or I'm gonna like pass out I just felt like kind of normal which I thought was really interesting and that um I have no idea why so my hunger has subsided a little bit which is nice um I still feel really uncomfortable in my own skin right now in clothes I just nothing's fitting well um I bought some more leggings, maternity leggings that I can wear later, you know what I mean? Um, that's a little bigger around my lower belly. It's like, it's right where the, the lower part of my belly is because I just, it's my, my widest point is and I, I'm i stretching. So I got just more comfier pants so I feel comfortable. Um, so that's something I've done for myself. My last thing is I've been feeling a little more emotional this week, feeling the urge to like cry but not cry. Like just feeling like hormones are, are cooking and they're getting there and I'm I'm feeling them work um, you know I just yeah everything's becoming real like I've said before <laughs> so I'm like ah so excited and scared ah help me ah <laughs> yeah cravings this week nothing crazy because I haven't been too hungry mainly dark chocolate which Valentine's Day is coming which is my birthday and it's all out at Walmart and I was like ooh chocolate in my basket <laughs> I need you in my life oh yeah my last little symptom I've been having is I had my bleeding gums is still kind of going on much better than last week uh just they're tender um yeah so that's about it so I think that is it I think let's do the belly shot all right guys so here's the belly shot at 33 weeks from the front and here she is from the side <laughs> It's crazy how fast time is going. It's unbelievable. Well, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thumb the video up for us. We'd super appreciate it. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter if you'd like. I do belly shots once a week at least and cute pictures of my children. Um, yeah, so follow me there if you want. And yeah, we'll see you next time. Don't forget, guys, you are wonderful. Bye. Bye.